I got to my boss, um, Lieutenant Dan Clack, and he was in a really bad way. He, I think it was 27 ball bearings he had him in him in the end, um, but one had severed his jugular. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, and so, sorry. I'm sorry. My name is Hayley Ridgway. I was serving as an army medic with C Company 1st Battalion, the Rifles, in August 2011, when we were hit by a huge IED while on foot patrol in Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Six of the ten soldiers on patrol were wounded, two severely. Despite suffering a serious leg injury myself, I battled to save my boys among a scene of chaos and devastation. This is my story. I didn't join to be a medic. I had no clue about what a medic was. Um, when I went to the careers office, they told me I was too short for everything else. <laughs> when I was on tour, I, I was there as a medic, but I also was like mother hen. <laughs> like, we all had chats in the evening and being a female, I think they naturally come to you to speak to you like they would their mum or sister or girlfriend or whatever. And it, it was really nice. Um, yeah, I was definitely had a maternal role. So it was the 12th of August 2011, there was my patrol and there was a sister patrol as well went out virtually at the same time and we were basically going to do a loop, meet up and then carry on round just around the borders. And we had only got about 300 metres outside of the gate and when the explosion went off it was a command wire IED. And all I can remember from the actual explosion is a loud bang. I remember falling to the ground and I remember something hitting me but just thinking it was a rock or something had hit me. And then when I kind of came to it, I could then hear medic, medic, Hayley, Hayley, everyone like shouting me. So I was kind of going in between um, Rathman Lowe and Lieutenant Clack, who were the worst. There was a few more but I prioritised them as the worst. Anyway, we got back to the checkpoint and then the helicopter came and me and the boys were shouting his name and he just, he opened his eyes just as he got on. Um, and I just thought that maybe he would be all right. And then I went to hospital, went to Bastion to have surgery. And I think I got maybe seven or eight ball bearings in both legs. And it was my, my knee took the worst and had a lot of time to reflect in hospital and feel guilty for surviving when Dan didn't felt like a failure as a medic. I was on this weird roller coaster of emotions. That initial period of being at home, I wanted to go back so but I was in a wheelchair, there's no way I was going back, but I wanted to be back in Afghan to be with the boys that were still there. I didn't like the fact that I wasn't there and they were still in a kinetic environment and I wasn't there as the medic. To maybe rectify something that I felt that I hadn't done right. It was horrible, like really, really dark days for me then. I got nominated for, yeah, the um, Sun uh, Millie's, the Lifesaver Award. When I went um, for the interviews for it, I had no clue that I was gonna be getting it. And then my name came up to go on stage. I would say I, I struggled quite a lot after that. It's the Lifesaver Award, yet Mr. Clack died. Why did I survive? I was there as the medic. I was meant to be the one that protected him. And yet I've come home and he hasn't. I don't think I even considered mental health at this point. I wasn't aware of it. I didn't really get mental health, PTSD. Didn't even enter my head really. I knew I was having dark thoughts, but after what had just happened, like anyone would. But as we all do, you just have the nightmares and like that's it, like you just carry on. And then I had my little girl and I couldn't bury it anymore because when I was having nightmares, I was then waking her up. And then that's not just me anymore. Like that's two lives that I'm affecting. So took myself to see someone to get therapy. Got diagnosed with complex PTSD. Learned a lot. I was so into it. Like I didn't, I didn't want to just go there and get better. I really started to want to understand it. And I was like, if I can like come through it and actually almost enjoy the process, then maybe this is something that I want to do. I've kind of done my time as a medic. Obviously I've got physical injuries now, it's limited me. So yeah, I applied to be a mental health nurse and got the role. I just really want to 
give what I've learned back to people as well and hopefully, I hope that that does someone some good somewhere. I don't blame myself now and it, probably the opposite, I'm, I'm now proud again. I, I couldn't have done more. I've, I've given everything, both mentally and physically and emotionally, I've given everything to my colleagues and the army. If you'd like to help veterans and help support veterans charities, please play the Veterans Lottery. <laughs>